All right, we've got chips of the day. We've got two chips of the day. We have an NTE 1316 and an NTE 1322. Those are pretty similar part numbers. This one says Darlington on it. Interesting. Uh, these are wild packages, right? Lots of leaves on them. And they're the ones that have the uh, uh, aluminum aluminum heat, uh, heat sink, uh, heat spreader on the back. And they're to be bolted to a heat sink. Uh, out of probably some commercial type equipment. These are audio amplifiers. So you, these are quite, quite common. Um, this one is here. Can you read that? I'll back up. But here, modules, a dual auto frequency power amplifier, 50 watts. This one's good for 50 watts. Um, plus or minus 35 volts, eight ohms output. Idle current is 40 milliamps, yeah, 50 watts, 0.4% distortion. Uh, so some people would, would complain, probably. Source impedance, 55 K ohms. Um, let's see here, not much of a data sheet. It just has the uh, pinout and the... Uh, so we have uh, right channel, left channel, some compensation stuff. VCCs, muting. Uh, so, uh, what's the other one? An NTE 1322. That's this one. This is an 80 watt audio frequency power amplifier. Thick hybrid module, Darlington Power Pack. Uh, dual power amp. Um, plus or minus, uh, let's see here, plus or minus 60 volts. Absolute max though. Plus or minus 40. Sorry. Operating characteristics plus or minus 46 volts, 8 ohms impedance, um, 80 watts. Better distortion, uh, typically 0.02%, much, much nicer. Uh, here is a typical application. Uh, so you need to put quite a bit of stuff around this. So I'm kind of skeptical whether it's really a whole amplifier or just the drive section. So let's... Uh, Let's dig a little deeper. Ah, here you go. This is what's actually inside the package. So just the output drive section, Darlington, Darlington, and a uh, 180 degree phase thing on the, uh, on the input here and some biasing to put it into class AB. So there you go. All right, pins zero, one, two, and nine. So this is the only, there's only, oh, wait a minute, three. In, so there's, yeah, so this is a plus V minus V. And then these are some plus V minus V uh, inputs, probably inputs and ground. Yeah, but this is probably an input and ground. And then the outputs are over this away. And then you need to tie these together somehow. Uh, so let's take a look. Oh, here we go. Typical application. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit. So. Yeah, you have to put quite a bit of stuff around it. Uh, the output gets, these two pins gets tied together with a 0.47 ohm resistor. So some short circuit protection, I guess, or just some idle current, I don't know. And then uh, it goes out here to the speaker. But yeah, you have to put a bunch of stuff around this to make it, to make it do anything. It is basically just the drive transistors for the output. All right, so. Uh, but today we don't care about making amplifiers because amplifiers are better now. Why bother with these old things? Uh, so this one I've already cracked open. Boom. There you go. Look at that. So you can see these big heat spreaders here. We'll put these under the microscope a little later, but big heat spreaders with uh, four transistors. So, uh, the one, one channel, two channel, it's probably mirrored. So this is the left channel, right channel type of thing. And then we have a bunch of, uh, deposited resistors on the PC board. So a bunch of those. And then every once in a while you get a capacitor. So it's mostly just resistors and transistors. And like I said, a bunch of deposited stuff. Uh, this one, this 80 watt jobber, does not crack open easily. Um, and it's got potted as well. So I think this one's kind of, I'll just save it for a rainy day. But uh, yeah, this one, let's, uh, let's put him out of the microscope because he looks like a big bruiser.
All right, here we are under the microscope. And yeah, look at these transistors, man. These guys are beauties. Look at the uh, top of those transistors. They can handle a lot of watts. <laughs> they can handle a lot. And uh, everybody's matched. Looks like these are four, four that are exactly the same. Very nice. And then the PC board itself uh, connects uh, down to this away. And actually there's a lot more silicon in here than I thought. Look at all these little guys. So yeah, we'll have to zoom down a little farther, but uh, we have a whole bunch of, uh, let's pick a point here. We're using them, yeah. Here, 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 there and there. Yeah, so, so there's more stuff in here. Yeah, a bunch up here too. So yeah, we'll zoom in a little, little farther, but we'll just go through the whole board here. Uh, so goes across, stuff over this away. Should be mirror images, yep, mirror images. And those things over there and those things over there. Yeah, everything's kind of a mirror image. So let's go down a little further. Yeah, look at these little guys. Little transistor up there. Looks cute. Yeah. Interesting little things every once in a while. I like that one. That one's really nice. I like these little guys. And... Not quite sure what that bond wire there goes to. Not quite sure what that is. Maybe we can look at the other one. Yeah. Maybe it's just a... Uh, I don't know. Oh, look at that one. That's kind of cute. I don't know what that one's doing. Nice. Anyway, there you go. Let's refocus on one of these here. Yeah, oh, it's a beauty. It's a beauty. All right, well, those were the, the uh, chips of the day. A 50-watt amplifier, an 80-watt amplifier, and big old packages.